what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you subscribe so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below okay Now, the song that's channeling, I don't know why I was drawn to my little bitty cards today, but the song, that, song that's channeling is Love One. Love One, I give you my gun. Riding with you, baby, in it for the long run. Loved One, living like a bum. In it with you, baby, for the long run. And then, like, he goes how, like, in in the in the video like it's their actual marriage is i think it's like sh uh stroke shooter jennings um and his old lady and they're getting like married bro it's like jelly roll's best friend okay like if anybody knows who jelly roll is but um she's he says like i'm gonna i'm gonna do what it takes i'm gonna take your crown i'm gonna take your crown and polish it and then take it and adjust it Come here, girl, I'm riding with you, girl. You know, like, shit, I'm about to polish this crown and adjust it for you. Make you my queen for real, for real. Because me and you done been through too much struggle and too much hell in the past. Um, and we deserve this amazing life and love together. Now, I don't know if it's like a past person or a new person or what. But there's this energy of like, love one, I give you my gun. Not love one, like love, like a loved one. Love one, like W-O-N. Love one, I give you my gun. I'm riding with you, baby, in it for the long run. So let's see. Wow, love call pops out first. Expressing love, messages of love, thinking of love, informing you. Wow. So there's definitely an energy of somebody calling you, expressing their love for you, definitely sending messages here and there to let you know that they're thinking about you. I feel like you might have been expecting a call or expecting like an explanation or something from this person that will be coming in. There was somebody bottom of the deck that they were dealing with. And I feel like that's where love one comes in because at the end of the day, love is going to win. Snake, bottom of the deck, competition and enemy. You know, the other woman or man, regardless of who you are. Um, look over your shoulder, okay? So this person was dealing with somebody else and with the snake that is a very karmic energy because with the lover's card people think like the lover's card is so amazing but at the end of the day the lover's card is a third party situation you got adam eve and the snake right so you have these two soulmates but then you have this karmic energy that's going to try to come in between these two soulmates right that snake is going to try to offer that apple right now i feel like there's an energy of this snake and then girl with the snake under that i cannot make this up charmed or used enable boundaries mm. i feel like there's an energy of you realizing that there was a snake involved in this situation that there was somebody else that maybe somebody was charming or using you and you were enabling this situation to go down and so you put up boundaries when it came to this person no i'm not going to be in no third party situation no i'm not going to be in competition with anybody wow even with me shuffling them that's crazy it's still there let's see Love one, I give you my gun. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation, struck by love. What am literally as I'm singing the song, but what's underneath? Watching, looking, perception, stalking. So whoever this person is, 
regardless of what they're dealing with, I feel like you're waiting on a call. I feel like you're waiting. I don't feel like this is like you heartbroken and just waiting and waiting for the call. But I feel like you are waiting on this person to reach out, call you, text you, and inform you on what's going on. And because they're not, there's an energy of you thinking, okay, they, they're with this other person, you know. Um, I wasn't willing to deal with it, so they've moved on, right? But they haven't because under the deck, what you don't see is that they are watching you. They are looking. They're they're stalking you, basically, keeping an eye on everything you do, especially if you have a social media. And Spirit wants you to know to have faith that love is coming. Surprise invitation struck by love, right? This retrograde is coming to an end. I feel like you left a permanent mark on this person and spirit wants you to have faith that they, they're coming back around and they're coming with some kind of surprise invitation. Like I said, loved one struck by love, love is like, they can't help it. They're avoiding this, but love is going to win here. You're going to get this call. They're going to inform you about the situation. They're scared to be vulnerable with you, but you're the only person that they feel like they can be vulnerable with. Healing heart, healing heartbreak, toxicity or addiction, abusive relationship. Mm -hmm. Whoever that snake was, was toxic as fuck might have enabled this person's addictions this could have been a very mentally or physically abusive relationship and whoever this person is cutting that situation out adam even the snake i'm just steadily seeing the lover's card right this person is cutting out and separating stopping the pattern silent treatment they so they're giving you the silent treatment right now but they are going to end up realizing how toxic this situation is and how uh, it's almost like this situation is like mentally abusive or like mentally draining to the, that snake energy is just mentally draining to your person and they're giving you the silent treatment or like not talking to you right now but it's because they are cutting out this other person they're separating, they're stopping that pattern, they're realizing, they're seeing things for what they are. They're trying to heal from that situation and that toxicity so they don't carry it over onto you or take it out on you. But the whole time, they knew that they should have been putting their energy towards you in the first place. Wow. And then that's when they start ascending. Both of you guys start ascending. Learning and expansion, transcending, preparing for union and new phase, which you don't see. You and this person preparing for union in a brand new phase coming into the two of you guys' life. I think both of you guys have had time to heal. I feel like you're really expecting a call. And just have faith. Continue to have faith. Don't get down on it. If you're like waking up in the morning, checking your phone, they're, they're going to end up calling. They're going to end up texting. They're going to be honest. They might invite you somewhere. Right now, they're really trying to cut out this other situation and heal from that situation. Let's see. Let's see what else is going on with the collective and this person for this love call right here. Planning for the future. What else for this love call right here, spirit? Wow. Okay, so for this love call, to clear to clarify this love call, we have plan for the future, planning for the future and choosing the right path for us. So during this love call, I feel like you and this person have been able to talk like on the phone for hours at a time. And I mean, without there even being any silence, like both of you guys talking, I feel like when this person comes through and they express their love and their messages of love 
and they explain and inform you about what's going on in a very honest way. They're going to be honest with you about how they would like to plan their future with you. And that they were confused at some point. They're going to be honest about all of that. But they're like, nah, man, I know the path that I'm supposed to be taking now. Love one. I give you my gun. So if this person has a gun, it's like that or like likes guns or something like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's almost like down south, like when it comes to a gun, like we're very we don't like that's our right, right? Down down in Texas and shit, we don't play about that shit. Right. If there's a deer, there's a hog about to attack me in my fucking yard. Trust and believe I'm about to go out there and shoot that motherfucker if it tries to attack me. Now, I'm going to try to run it off first, but for my own protection, you know what I'm saying? But love when I give you my gun to me for that from the song, it, it reminds me of like they're giving you something that they cherish a lot. Right. And so this is somebody who is in love with you and they're finally choosing the right path for us for the both of us wow bottom of the deck on that one healing from heartbreak so this is could be what you don't see is that they have cut out or separated from this other person they're giving you and probably that other person the silent treatment too okay because they're trying to heal from that past situation or from that situation that they were dealing with. What about this Cupid's arrow spirit? Poor judgment. What else spirit? Wow, mastering karmic lessons. So they made a very, very poor judgment here. And they chose to deal with their karmic rather than deal with you. They shut you out. They ignored you. Um... They gave you the silent treatment and they made a very, very poor decision. 12-12, when I looked down, a very, very poor decision. They chose to go towards their karmic. And now, now, now it's like that last round, that last cycle, because it says mastering a karmic lesson. So this person is mastering a karmic lesson with somebody and it's difficult on them. And like I said, they could be giving both of you guys the karmic, I mean, the silent treatment, because look at how this person is just standing out on a wall by themselves, hoodie over their head. Nobody, you know what I'm saying? just lost in thought this person hands on their head knowing that they made the wrong decision they they should have never fucking pushed you out or pushed you away but at the same time they know they need to heal themselves from whatever situation that they were in before that was super super fucking toxic because this person wants to stop the pattern they're they're coming to the point you know like kind of like with an with aa or whatever like the first step to knowing that you're an addict is admitting it isn't that what they say or some shit okay so it's like they are realizing they that it's time to stop this pattern okay but they don't want to just jump over to you while they're still healing from something and then take out some of those emotions on you. So what they're do doing, because they know how toxic that other situation is, is that they're taking time out to, um, to heal, to heal. What about this healing heart spirit? What about this healing heart from this toxic relationship? What about this healing heart from this toxic relationship spirit? Healing heart from this toxic relationship. There's so many. Let me shuffle these one time spirit. Can I get one for this healing heart from a toxic relationship spirit? Thank you. Yeah, see, they went back to a situation, um, and I did see this where, you know, they thought this situation wasn't dead. You know what I'm saying? Social media might have gotten them in trouble. This person can stay on social media a lot. 
Oh, no. See, they're coming back to resurrect this connection with you. Spirit is saying that there is something like when it comes to social media that they don't like or that somebody doesn't like and it got them into trouble or something like that. But there's an energy of them coming back towards you because bottom of the deck, past is in the past. Don't look back, right? So whoever this was that they decided to deal with, they're cutting that person out. They're cutting that person out and they're trying to resurrect this situation with you. Let's see, Spirit, for this cutting down. I've seen Web of Lies. It's so complicated, okay? The situation is just too complicated. They feel like it is too complicated. Maybe it, this situation was based on lies. See, and when it comes to... It's like every... See, the reason why they're cutting this person out is because their mind is focused on you. Not your typical love story. Every love song reminds you of us. Enlightenment, seeing things more clearly. So they know they made a poor judgment by dealing with somebody that they shouldn't have been dealing with in the first place, okay? Now, maybe you caught them through social media or whatever this is. But they know deep down inside, this person has been enlightened, okay? But the problem is it's hard to say goodbye for them to something in their past. Um, but Spirit is saying, calm down, rest in recovery before a restart. This person is going through a deep spiritual awakening, okay? And this is where that decision comes in, where they, it's like, what do I do here? Where do I go from here? It's hard to say goodbye from to this past, but I'm done with that. I'm done with that. I shut this other person out for this super fucking complicated situation. And now I'm on the road to recovery. But I have to go through this dark night, night of the soul in order to get back to this person whose heart speaks the same language as mine. And look at what's right under that. Twin flame union approaching, okay? So there's a twin flame reunion approaching. And why? Because the passion and desire is still alive in this connection. And you are their lifeline. They cannot lose you. The passion and the desire that this person has is still alive for you. They know you and them have these two hearts that basically speak the same language, but they have to go through the dark night of the soul in order to recover from whatever this complicated bullshit is that they went through. So they're going through a deep spiritual awakening because it's difficult to say goodbye to whatever this is that they're saying goodbye to. And they're going through the dark night of the soul. They're going through a deep spiritual awakening. They're going through an enlightenment. They're seeing things more clearly. And spirit is, the universe is playing games with their head. Because this is not your typical love story. Every long love song reminds you of them. <laughs> the universe is like playing games with their head. They are thinking about you. They're seeing things more clearly. They are not only giving you the silent treatment, but they're giving this other person the silent treatment and spending time alone, going through the dark night of the soul and being enlightened. And then they're going to come back to resurrect this connection because it's not dead. It's not over with. The universe is playing with their head, making sure that they can't forget about you. Okay. All right, that's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.